Well, I have to tell you, I missed a bullet just by a smidge, like a tiny, tiny smidge. I am going to share this with my groups. I'm going to share this with all of you guys, because I'll tell you, you definitely want to hear what I have to say about this. I'm going to tag some of you guys on here, all of my friends and my people and all of you beautiful, gorgeous women out there that I know that you guys are making a difference to people everywhere because I know you want to be able to hear all the stuff that I was going through. Wow, I'll tell you. So hello everyone, my name is Fatima Omar Kamisa. I've just finished tagging some of my people. And if we, this is the first time we're meeting, I am the creative founder and CEO of Platinum Publishing and Million Stars Academy, where we equip women with visibility through coaching and pub publishing. So whether you want a press release, you want a bestseller book, you want to have a coaching program, whatever you want, our main thing is visibility. How are you seen as an expert? So that's what we do here. And today's specific video is about how I missed a bullet. Ooh, by the tiny, tiny fraction of a hair. And I wanted to share my experience with you. And you know what? I made a big mistake. And that mistake, and I know some of you women are gonna understand what I'm saying, and I know we've talked about this, and I, this is a purely vulnerable post here, okay? Because I didn't follow my own teachings. That's right, I didn't. The things that I, that I teach, guess what happened? I forgot about it. I was on a phone call with a potential client, and we were having this connection, and there was something going on inside of me, and guess what happened? I forgot one of the most critical pieces of my teachings. I have spent the last 12 years learning, growing this muscle, teaching myself techniques, teaching my clients techniques, and I have become so good at this muscle. And on a phone call last week, I took that, all of those teachings, and poof, I forgot about it. And I almost missed a bullet. And if it wasn't for God, and I promise you this is divine, completely divine, I would have been in a pickle. And you know what that is that I forgot? Listening to my intuition. Oh my God. The, the flags were waving. My spidey sense were all around the place. And I didn't listen, right? Can you tell me if you can relate to this? Right? You know there's something not right. You know that your, the, the flags are waving. You know the signs are there. Whatever those signs are, whether you get goosebumps or you feel it in your gut or somewhere or you get itchy on your skin, whatever that looks like, what is that sign that tells you this is not right? Don't go there. Don't work with this person. Don't hire this client. Don't hire this team member. Walk away. Like just put down, you know, it's like put down the chips and walk away. All of those things, what is that sense that, you, you know, and I have spent so many years practicing this and I know that I am an expert at listening to my gut. But for whatever reason, all of those things were out of my sphere. I ignored all those signs and I was having this conversation and I was like, not listening to those wild, intuitive, and all the, my gut going, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Just walk away, walk away. And I didn't. And I'm telling you, if it wasn't for God intervening and putting divine, um, whatever, protection, blessings inside of my life, I would have been in a pickle a real big mustard pickle mayonnaise, whatever you want to call it, but it would not have been pretty at all. And I really just got a sense of it today. It's taken about five days for this whole thing to unfold and conversations and emails. And whew, I am just counting my blessings. And I'm just being in the space of what did I need to learn? What was the lesson right here? And the lesson was, you know, yesterday's spiritual awakening is actually today's ego trip. That we forget 
the resources that are available to us. We forget what we were taught. We forget what works. We forget to say, wow, am I really listening? Am I fully present? Is this the type of client I want to work with? Is this the type of team member I want to be inside of my circle, right? So when it comes to your clients and it comes to people you want to surround yourself with and your team, ask yourself this question. And I ask myself, would I, would I cancel my day and go have dinner with this person? Do I want to invite them in my home and have dinner with them and love them and break bread with them and be in their space and be in their energy? And I have to go back to the books. I have to go back to my journals. I have to go back and remember the things that I was taught. And how did I go from welfare mom, homeless, running with five kids, trying to keep them safe, homeschooling to where I am today? And to say, wow, we've got two amazing businesses. We're running it. We're successful. We've got amazing teams that help us. We've got beautiful people inside of our programs. And have I forgotten some of the things? And you know what? It's not about feeling bad. Mistakes are going to happen and that's okay. Me just being, okay, I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to go back to the drawing board. And because we're growing and expanding, we want to always be on the edge of us. It's not about the results we create. It's not about the money in the bank. It's who we're becoming in the process. Do we stay humble? Do we stay kind? Do we stay generous? Do we stay intuitive? Or do we forget all those basic lessons that we've learned along the way? So let me know what you think. If you want more of this amazing content, you want to connect with your intuition, you want all kinds of yummy, delicious trainings on coaching and sales and soulful sales and spiritual coaching and entrepreneurship and publishing and press releases, join our tribe. Okay, there are, I don't know, 17, 1600 women inside of the tribe of spiritual entrepreneurs. I'll put a link in the comments. Love for you to join us there. I'd love to connect with you. This is for women, soulful women that are looking to make a difference. Soulful women that are saying, you know what? I'm a feminine leader. I want to do something different. I want to rise to the top. I've done so much in my life, but I know inside there's more. I know that there's something else out there that I want to be able to achieve in my life. And if that's you and you have a calling and you want to take all of your skills and your past and your pain and your trauma and your history and all of your life experiences and you want to package it with a beautiful bow and you want to get paid and make that your purpose in your life, guess what? The Tribe of Spiritual Entrepreneurs is the place where you belong. Yes, you belong with your sister queens. We'd love to have you there. Come on over and join us over there. Okay, love to know what you thought about this video. Take care. Bye for now.